You're watching a segment of The Splash, Greater West Bloomfield's news magazine show. The JCC's gallery hosted two exhibits tied together by a special installation. Jay Kustash stopped by to hear about both paperworks and climb. Ah, uh, another cold, freezing, snow-filled Michigan fall. You know, weather like this really makes me want to go uh, see some art. So right now we have two exhibits up. One is called Climb, and that is by local artist Megan Jackson. It's a solo show for her, all two-dimensional pieces except for the center, which has a three-dimensional installation. And it's really special because this is her first time creating uh, a three-dimensional piece like this. On the lower level, we have a group show of seven artists, all working with paper, and that exhibit was curated by Megan Jackson. Uh, we also have a display of the big heads on loan from the Detroit Parade Company. Megan has worked on Climb for many years, and during that time, her work has changed and evolved. Um, so what you're looking at here is the last five years um, of my work in terms of series. Mm -hmm. um, the idea was originally to begin working with water, and the ideas of water and the power of water played against the grid, you know, representing really people and, and the analytical side of, mm -hmm. of work. The early pieces began about four years ago. As the world got louder, which it did, and more combative, my colors got brighter. And the grid that had started out to be just a few lines that separated the viewer really from the, the power of water started to get louder and bigger and pushed more and they wound up at the end of this series broken in pieces on the ground. As Megan's own life changed so did her art and looking at the work you can see precisely when certain life events took place as she explains. So as this was being worked on or as, as, as I was working on this my husband became very ill and Consequently, what started to happen was that the water symbolism started turning into double helixes. I started thinking much more about, about life and death, about you know, people in general. Um, when he passed away, the figures turned into bones and hearts, and that ends the series. Mm -hmm. the, um, the sculpture installation, Climb, mm -hmm. is really the last piece that I did. Okay. And it's, it's really the three-dimensional expression of the figures that are in these paintings. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, e every exhibit we do is completely different from one to the next. I always tell people, if you come in and you don't like something, come back in, a, in two months. Um, we really pride ourselves on doing something completely different from one to the next, and even if we do a show like Paper, we try to do it differently than one would expect and use some you know, a lot of creativity in finding artists and putting them together and um, showing showing them in a way where they may have not shown before or with artists that they haven't shown before. Wow, I am so glad that I got to see some art today. You know, any day I can see some art is a good day. Now, back to working and living in the snow. Reporting for The Splash, I'm Jay Kustash. You can find more information on our website at civiccentertv.com slash climb some paper. Thanks for watching this segment of The Splash. To watch the entire show or other segments, catch us on Comcast Channel 15 and at and Channel 99. Or look us up online at thesplash.tv and listen to us every week on 89.3 WBLD, the all-new Lakes FM.